so one more small topic here that is called the hana so delta merge delta merge and save point delta merge and save point here <laughs> it's all are the internal theoretical point here internal points here internal internal concepts here so it will happen internally it will happen internally here so what is mean by delta merge here what is mean by delta merge what is mean by save point here so delta merge in hana in sap in sap uh, sap uh, hana in the hana database data will be saved so suppose example if you see the this is the our hana database here right this is our operating system example this is our operating system in the operating system we have suppose example if you see so this is the main ram memory this is the main memory here right so this is the main memory here this is the ram that is called the main memory or in memory in the ana language we will call it as the in memory here right so why because in our outside of the hardware language it's a ram slot ram memory right it's a ram memory in memory right physical memory there are the multiple things we can call it as right so here in the in memory we have the in memory at the same time we have the the operating system level we have the operating system level so we have the slash ana data and then slash ana log folder and os level folders also available here so why we have the folders at the operating system level why because hana the data will be stored in the ram memory only the data will be stored in ram memory only the data will be stored in ram memory only but why again we have the file system as we discussed previously hana is in memory database it will store the data in memory only why there is a one copy of data is getting stored one copy of getting one copy of data is getting stored in the in the file system as well file system means our storage that is called the file systems why means i will explain now why because hana the ram memory is the ram memory is the so volatile memory that is called the temporary memory only so volatile memory which means temporary storage only why because if you restart the system entire data will be gone whatever the data is there in the in memory all the data will be deleted so then how we will get the data here why because hana is storing the data in memory only in the memory only it is storing the data if the data is get deleted then what is the use of the storing the data in the ram memory here there is no usage right so that is the reason that is the reason sap introduced the the delta merge and save point concept here so what does it mean by delta merge concept here for every data every data normally all the sap uh, hana in the hana all the operations will happens in the in memory so actually sap they have divided the in memory into two types here one is the ds and second one is the second one they have divided the in memory into two types here one is the ds and ms here ds means delta storage ds means so delta storage delta storage next one means ms means the main storage here main storage here so your ram memory your ram memory is divided into the two types here your ram memory is divided into the two types here one is the so one is the delta ds and ms here right so <clears throat> actual data actual data will resides in the main memory itself only actual data it will resides it resides in the main memory so but all the calculations all the queries execution all the conversions everything will happen in the delta merge in case the data is not required it will take the data from the main memory it will push it to the in the delta storage it will it will take it to the here so normally 
if any data comes inside of the database here first it will execute the query in the in in the in memory there is a delta storage the query will be executed here the queries will be the statements will be the data will be executed here right after that if the transaction is committed the query is executing you are booking the ticket or data is storing here once the transaction is committed then the data will be moved to the the main storage the data will be moved to the main storage which data the committed data committed data will be moved to the main storage it will store the data into the main storage here so this is the concept here why because your queries directly will not execute on the main storage here why because in the main storage we have already other data is there already saved data already committed data committed tables already the, there is a costly tables are there here right why because main storage operations are very costly we cannot directly execute anything in the main storage so so normally if you see the outside uh, in the movies directly we cannot hit the directly we cannot hit the Hillans, right? Villains, we cannot directly hit it. So before we hit the Hillans, first of all, we need to we need to hit the their subordinates, right? Subordinates, and we have to hit it. Then once they are done, finally we can hit the main storage. Same as like here, directly the statement cannot be executed on the so main storage here. Before that, the delta storage is there, temporary storage here. All the queries statements everything will be executed in the delta storage here for each and every table there is a delta storage and main storage is available first the data will be executed in the executed data will be in progress or executed in the delta storage here once the transaction is committed in the database language the transaction is committed in our language in the layman language the transaction is completed your ticket booking is completed your food order delivery is completed the transaction is completed then once the transaction is completed then that data the committed data will go to the main storage so this process is called the so delta merge whatever data is there in the delta it is merging into the main memory the main storage that is called the delta merge here why because so delta storage is read plus write plus compression mechanism is optimized but the delta main memory only read plus compression why because read means reading write means writing the data compress means data will be compressed so which means the 2 gb data it will be compressed to the so maybe 1 gb example like that it will be compressed why because if the 2 gb data directly storing into the hana memory means the 2 gb license it is using right so that's the reason so to avoid this type of concepts there is a compression technique will be 10x compression technique hana will use the the 10x compression technique 10x the compression technique here so data will be compressed here suppose if you have any folder if you have the folder of the 12 gb then if you compress it what will happen what will happen so it will be decreased right if it will be decreased here suppose you have the 2 gb folder here right if i if i just uh, compress it here what will happen then if it compresses to the rar file or zip file this will be 3 gb file decreased to the 2 gb or 1 gb it will be decreased right the same way the same way here also we can do it here the same way we can also do it the same way we can also do it in the systems here right so here so whatever the data the data will be moved to the main storage this procedure is called the delta storage delta storage this concept is called the delta storage here okay got it that is called the delta merge concept here delta merge concept here right so then it is it is it will happen in the ram memory only here so once the data moved to the ram memory here the same data same data after five minutes the same data will go to the your operating system level in the data folder here this concept is called the so save point here this is called the save point it will happen in the 
every five minutes here so you point every five minutes here it will happen in the every five minutes here right so you point every five minutes that will be happen here in the system here file system and in memory so as soon as data received here immediately after five minutes the data will go to the data folder here the data folder here in the data folder in the operating system level the sql data the committed data actual data it will resides into the in the data folder only the log folder contains the the changes about the your changes about the data here changes about the data it will store in the form of logs here that will be in the log folder here here actual data resides in the in the data folder here one copy of data will be stored here then one more copy of data will be stored here why because whenever whenever you are starting the stopping the hardware failure something is happened hana will be restarted when you are restarting the hana so you are all the data whatever there in the main memory it will be deleted right whatever the data is there in the main memory all will be deleted see here now it is the 13 gb used here right so let me try to stop the one database here let me try to stop the one database so you will come to know so what's happening here right there is a hd4 is available then hd1 also available here right so what i will do here <coughs> i will stop the hd4 here okay so now before stopping let me check the what is the size okay 13 gb used then date okay you can see now now let me stop it now okay now let me stop it what will happen when you stop the hana database so all the data whatever data is there in the ram memory all the data will be so all the data will be loaded to all the data whatever data is there here main memory all the data will be loaded to the your data folder at operating system level data folder at operating system level this is the main memory this is the operating system level file system here why because ram memory is the temporary memory only why because it's a temporary volatile memory only so whenever the restarts or hardware failure or system os crash happens whatever the data is there here all the data will be deleted it will come to the zero status here so if the two terabyte data is there two terabyte data will be deleted from here then all the data will it will be automatically it will move to the every five minutes automatically it is moving to the data folder right so let's see now it is stopped now right it is stopped now now let's see free iphone g it comes to the zero percentage here now six percentage right let's take the date here so here within one minute within a minute right in a minute your data you have stopped the database but your data your size is decreased from used memory this is the hana used memory right 13 gb this is the ram used memory 13 gb to 6 gb it is used means how much so 7 gb right 7 gb the 7 gb memory got freed up 7 gb memory got freed up here right it got free that's why free memory also get got increased here 7 gb got increased 7 gb got decreased here so it not decreased so why why what happened here what happened here so what happened means what happened means you have stopped the one hana database which means all the data which resides in the main memory which got which got decreased which got decreased here right which got decreased here so whenever you start the hana database again what will happen what will happen here why because there is no data then how we will get the data after the starting the data means whatever the data is there here again this data will be reloaded to the main memory when you are starting the hana database so when you are starting the hana database <clears throat> when you are starting data will be reloaded data will be reloaded from your disk storage to the main memory that's why that's why whenever you hit the start button it will take some time right it will take some time to start the database here suppose example let me stop this one also
okay it stopped now so here now you see here so it's zero so means all the memory got free nothing is used now so now what happens all the data got deleted from the ram memory now so whenever i hit the start button hdb start right so what exactly happens here <clears throat> it will it won't start immediately it won't start immediately here it will take some time see here it is taking some time why means all the data all the data is getting reloaded all the data is getting reloaded from data folder to you have data in the data folder it won't be deleted until we delete manually right if you delete manually entire database will be corrupted so that that data will be whatever the data is there in the data folder that will be loaded to the main memory here so in the diagnosis files normally if you go to the diagnosis files here <coughs> otherwise os level the oldest level folders os level folders then we can observe it what's happening in the system right or oh, what is happening in the system all those things we can observe it here all those things we can observe it here no connection is not available here right so it, it is starting now see here it is not still not started it is starting mode only it is starting the instance if it is started we will get the command prompt mode it is not started here so it is not started here so let me let me show you what will happen what is happening in the system here when you are starting the database here right if you go to the trace file trace folder here in the trace folder here if you go to the so index server right index server log file all the data will resides if you go to the loads here load load means it will show the what are the tables are getting loaded here see the tables are getting loaded here all the tables are getting loaded here all the tables are still it is starting see here all the tables are getting loaded here these all are the tables here right these all are the the tables all the tables entries are getting loaded into the system here all the table entries will get loaded all the table entries will get loaded here so why because so data whatever the data is there all the data will get loaded all the data get a is getting loaded into the table level so that is the main thing here now it started completely started here right so now if you see here again you will get the data here again you will get the data here data we got it 5 gb used so which means ana database is started now completely which means whatever the data is there in the previously all the data we got it into the ram memory here we got it to the here we got it to the here so so no data loss here no data loss here all the data we got it here so whenever you are starting the database what will happen means all the data will be loaded from data folder to main storage right whenever you are stopping all the data will be flushed out from the main storage it will be loaded to the again data folder so this will happen every 5 minutes automatically this all are the system internal process this all are the system internal process it will happen this is the delta merge and save point interval <coughs> okay any questions from anyone <clears throat> anyone any questions no sir clear right okay yes sir so then then let's talk about the so our our topic for today that is called the so let's discuss about the uh let me stop <clears throat>